We're now in the era of no risk-free options. We are headed towards 4C by the end of the century. That's a devastating number. And so when we go to these policymakers and start talking about what scientists are developing, it is always in the context of that larger risk framework. Because some of these technologies may not have consequences that we can measure for decades to come. And so decision makers, whether they're head of a large civil society group, whether they're the World Bank, whether the UN Secretary General, they have to look at these choices in this risk management framework. The risks of what we're currently doing versus the risks known and unknown, and not just scientific risks, but very importantly, political risks, security risks, human rights risks, ethical concerns, and make some choices 